up guys, Sanitary103. I am not in my famous uh, tank top because uh, it's a little bit cold outside, a little bit overcast, got a little hooded sweatshirt. But anyway, um, I got some uh, groceries that I wanted to show you guys. Um, I bought some uh, things at my local grocery store. Uh, some of you, my uh, old subscribers, have seen these videos, but I get new subscribers every day, so I wanted to fill you in on what I uh, bought. So let's do this up pretty quick, give you guys an idea of what I, I got a lot of the same uh, basics. We got some organic uh, eggs right here, a good source of protein. Really, really good. Got a random uh, Powerade Zero, uh, just post-workout. Just to get, fill, uh, fill in the electrolytes. Or and I got some, uh, some tomatoes I can put in a salad, which is conveniently placed right here. It's just a half and half blend right here, um, salad right here. It's uh, organic. And then I got some random stuff. And then I got a bunch of uh, yams right here, the red yams. I got about six of them right here. Good complex carb. I usually put those in uh, in my uh, work meals, in my carb source and my work meals that you've seen. And then uh, this bag is uh, bagged a little bit funky. There's a lot of random stuff in here. Got some uh, mushrooms. I can put that in my salad as well. And then, uh, let's see, some random uh, frozen um, broccoli right there. And then I got some um, some ham uh, by the pound. Uh, I tend to get uh, some uh, like turkey uh, slices or uh, slash lunch meat from time to time. It's a good high protein healthy snack to have. You can just chew on that. It's virtually zero carbohydrates, good amount of protein. That's what you want. You don't want snacks that are gonna spike your insulin, all that, you know, candy and chips and stuff like that. Or try to, you know, keep that to a minimum. And then I have some uh, russet potatoes right here as well, for some carbs. So that's one bag. And then, uh, time to time I'll have some uh, whole wheat pasta on my uh, workout days, post-workout. Some whole wheat thin pasta there. And then I have some random, uh, Bananas, good source of potassium. I'll put that in my shake right there. One uh, avocado. Avocado are a good source of uh, healthy fats, as well as uh, natural peanut butter, um, stuff like that. Actually, it's for my wife, so I don't really eat avocado. But and then I do like a chicken salsa, uh, slow uh, cooker in the crock pot. So um, that's some salsa right there. Then I got some canned stuff, but some more. Random uh, produce and carrots, three carrots, and then a bunch of canned stuff. So I got some reduced sodium black beans right there, and then I get some soup from time to time, especially because it's it's a little bit colder now, and I usually get the uh, spread these out. Bam, right there. So the Wolfgang. I want to take a look right there. Whoops. This is the Wolfgang uh, Wolfgang pucks. This is the free range wild chicken chicken noodle and a signature tortilla. These are a little bit bland because they're organic. A lot of them don't have as much uh, salt, so you can add like a little bit of black pepper and a touch of salt. At least you don't get too much sodium with the soup. The soup is a good uh, option if you're uh, dieting because uh, it fills you up, doesn't have as many calories. Um, if you're not vegetarian, I assume, try to stick with uh, like the chicken because uh, you want to get some protein in. So that's it for that one. And then last but not least, one more bag. I got some more frozen veggies. More frozen veggies right here, green beans. And then uh, I'm gonna do some chicken salsa. Like I mentioned earlier with that salsa. And I got some uh, chicken breasts right here. These are uh, organic, it's just a free range of uh, boneless chicken breast right there. I'll do breasts or thighs usually. And then more and more veggies, same thing. Almost done, guys. And we've got about a pound of a uh, salmon, wild salmon sake. Sake or sockeye? Sockeye. Sake. That's a Japanese drink, sake. And then, uh, it's for my wife. She, uh, you know, we usually uh, cook our own uh, food and stuff, but on the go sometimes, you're busy. A little cashew chicken emergency meal. And I got a couple of emergency meals as well. I've got, uh, I've had a few of these. This is the Healthy Choice Top Chef, uh, the pesto with the vegetables. The healthy choice ones, like this one has uh, 300 calories, 7 grams of fat, 
34 net carbs, 22 protein. So you want to get that carbohydrate and protein ratio pretty similar. So it's pretty good. It's a little bit more than a one-to-one. -one. The healthy choice ones though, in general, I've had some other uh, ones. I forgot which, uh, it's like the Asian chicken or something. They're a little bit more bland, but that's what you're going to expect because they're a little bit more healthy. They don't drench it with as much uh, sodium and uh, salt and stuff. So if you can handle that, it's on the go. It's a decent option. I wouldn't rely too heavily on the uh, TV dinners, but once in a while, hey, you gotta live a little. And then, the grand finale, this one I'll devour once once in a while, and it's a better option than a regular like pot pie. This is from, and I've had this a few times, the boomerangs, this is the Aussie pies right here. This is the chicken and mushroom, and uh, they're really, really good. Not as creamy, and not too bad. 360 calories for one, 16 grams of fat, um, 34 uh, protein, 15 grams of protein. Uh, ah, sorry, 34 carbohydrates, 15 protein. So a little bit more than a two to one uh, carbohydrate to protein ratio. So really, really good. Uh, check these out. This is also um, white meat and it's raised without antibiotics or hormones. I try for the most part to stay away from the hormones and the antibiotics and stuff with the my protein so uh, that's about it uh, for this video hope you guys enjoyed that and uh, one last thing I want to mention is I know some people like on a budget it's gonna cost a lot of money you don't have to buy you know all this food it can add up but if you can if possible definitely try to shop for your own food if possible I'm granted everybody's financial situation a little bit different but if possible try to um, get a, you know some fresh produce some good healthy uh, proteins and try to cook at least a few times a week you'll uh, definitely get used to it and it's not going to be too bad thanks once again for watching this video comments or questions are always welcome be sure to also subscribe to my channel for all the latest in diet health and fitness if not already i put out at least two to three new videos per week i'll see you guys next time bye